हेलो एवरीवन दृष्टि आई एस वेलकम्स यू टू द न्यू सीरीज ऑफ सिंप्लीफाइड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट मिशन ऑफ डिफेंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड डीआरडीओ पार्ट टू इन दिस सेगमेंट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट्स इन नेवी एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट्स इन नेवी फर्स्ट इज अरिहंत क्लास सबमरीन द थर्ड ऑफ द अरिहंत क्लास एस एस बी एन दैट इज सब सरफेस बैलिस्टिक न्यूक्लियर सबमरीन कोड नेम्ड एस फोर वॉज क्वाइटली लॉन्च इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी दो दिस वॉज नॉट ऑफिशियली कन्फर्म्ड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस और द इंडियन नेवी सो फार सोर्सेज इन द नेवी एंड शिप बिल्डिंग सेंटर दैट इज एस बी सी इन विशाखापटनम where india's nuclear submarines are being built have confirmed it the first of the ssbn pack ins arihant code name s2 was commissioned by prime minister narendra modi in august 2016 as per sources the second in the pack s3 or ins arighat is ready and is undergoing advanced sea trials to complete the nuclear triad Nuclear weapon operability from air, land and sea. India aims to have at least 4 SSBNs. The final two ships, S4 and S4 Star in the class are expected to be larger and displacing over 1000 tons more than the Arihant. They have 8 missile launch tubes to carry up to 8 K4 or K5. and a more powerful pressurized water reactor than INS Arihant Next is project 28 or Kamorta class corvettes P28 is a project under which four anti submarine warships have to be built indigenously in India by Garden Reach shipbuilders and engineers that is GRSE Kolkata Project 28 was approved in 2003 with an objective to enhance localization and development of the warship construction industry in india three of the four corvettes ins kamorta ins kadmat and ins kirtan were commissioned in 2014 2016 and 2017 respectively ins kavratti commissioned into the indian navy in october 2020 The warships are named after the islands in the Lakshadweep archipelago. Next is Project 75 or Scorpion class submarines. It is a program by the Indian Navy that entails building 6 Scorpion class attack submarines. It is given support by the Department of Defence Production, Ministry of Defence and Indian Navy throughout its various phases of construction. The Masgaon Dock Limited or MDL is manufacturing 6 Scorpion submarines with technology assistance from Naval Group of France under a 3.75 billion US dollar deal signed in October 2005. Submarines under Project 75 include three submarines Kalvari, Khanderi and Karanj have been commissioned into the Indian Navy. The fourth Scorpion submarine INS Vela has been delivered to the Indian Navy in November 2021 The Scorpion Wagir is under trials and the sixth one INS Wagshir is under construction Next is chaff technology DRDO has developed an advanced chaff technology to safeguard the naval ships against enemy missile attack DRDO has indigenously developed three variants of the critical technology namely SRCR that is short range chaff rocket MRCR that is medium range chaff rocket and LRCR that is long range chaff rocket it is an electronic countermeasure technology used by militaries worldwide to protect naval ships or other sensitive targets from radar and radio frequency that is RF guiding mechanisms of the enemy missile The chaff rockets deployed in the air reflect multiple targets for the missile guidance systems and deflecting adversary missiles thus protecting their own assets. Next is indigenous aircraft carrier. The vessel to be named Vikrant 
after the decommissioned maiden carrier of the navy over 76% of the material and equipment on board IAC1 is indigenous it will have an air component of 30 aircraft comprising mig 29k fighter jets Kamov 31 airborne early warning helicopters and the soon to be inducted MH60R multi role helicopter besides the indigenous advanced light helicopters it is expected to have a top speed of 30 knots and is propelled by four gas turbines its endurance is 7500 nautical miles at 18 knots that is 32 km per hour speed It has a pair of runways and a short takeoff but arrested recovery system to control aircraft operations. In August 2021, INS Vikrant started sea trials. That is one of the last phases of trials. And it is likely to be commissioned in 2022. At present, India has only one aircraft carrier, the Russian origin INS Vikramaditya. Now let's discuss about DRDO that is Defence Research and Development Organisation. DRDO works under the administrative control of the Ministry of Defence Government of India. It is working to establish a world class science and technology base for India and provides our defence services decisive edge by equipping them with internationally competitive systems and solutions. G Satish Reddy is appointed as the new chairman of the DRDO. Now discussing about the nice and growth of DRDO. It was established in 1958 by the government of India. It was instituted by combining three major defense organizations namely DSO that is Defense Science Organization, DTDE that is Defense Technical Development Establishment and DTDP that is Directorate of Technical Development and Production Starting with 10 laboratories DRDO has now grown to a network of 52 laboratories which are deeply engaged in developing defense technologies It covers various disciplines like aeronautics armaments electronics information systems and agriculture etc Presently the organization is backed by over 5000 scientists and about 25000 other scientific technical and supporting personnel several major projects for the development of missiles armaments light combat aircrafts radars electronic warfare systems etc are on hand and significant achievements have already been made in several such technologies moving on to the mission of drdo design develop and lead to production state of the art sensors weapon systems platforms and allied equipment for our defense services provide technological solutions to the services to optimize combat effectiveness and to promote well-being of the troops and to develop infrastructure and committed quality manpower and build a strong indigenous technology base now let's discuss about the world's highest terrestrial center in ladakh DRDO center in Ladakh is at 17600 feet above sea level at Changla near Pangong Lake. It is intended to serve as a natural cold storage unit for the preservation of natural and medicinal plants. The center will also act as a research unit for food, agriculture and biomedical sciences that will benefit the soldiers deployed at high altitude. After its inauguration in 2018 by the Defence Institute of High Altitude Research that is DIHAR the center has seen multiple activities related to life sciences So that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching